Greetings and salutations, my operators, and welcome back to Day Alive Spirit Pledge HD. I apologize for not being up to stream or even upload videos recently. I have been sick with the, uh, well, you know, the big C. I'm gonna trick myself down. There we go. I've been do I've been too large for too long. Anyways, uh, I also decided to change up uh, what emulator I use. No longer am I using blue stacks. I am using LD player. So hopefully the controller support is much better. I've been using it for the past couple of days and it's been really solid. So solid in fact that I don't know why I even use blue stacks anymore. <laughs> but anyways, I digress. Today is the day that Nia Honjo finally gets released. And she is like one of my favorite girls in the series. Uh, let's just take a quick peek at what she is first before we get to rolling. She is registered as a support damage boost character. So she kind of fills the niche of uh, Miku. Only... So... <clears throat> her element's light, so... She's a little more limited than Miku, but at least she's not as weak as Miku then. Ugh, sorry, I am still very much sick. So I am getting very lightheaded while I talk. It is... It's a trip. Whew. I am much better than I have been recently, though. But I am getting winded very easily. So, her character traits are mass support. Surprisingly high attack for what is considered a support control character. No, almost no defense, which is canonically true because she she got sneak attacked and uh, that's her storyline. <laughs> so she's a ranged attack, dealing light damage, uses her angel to spot enemy weaknesses, uses the enhanced skill to improve other skills. So her energy system is inspirational burst, initial value of zero, max of 100. Restoration method, uh, method, restore 3 energy per second. Okay, that's not too bad. And then energy effect, when Nia enters battlefield, enters battle, all allies heal 5% of max HP every 5 seconds. This effect can is cancelled when she exits battle. Healing cannot exceed 10% of allies' max HP. So, she can only heal for 10 seconds, and she can only heal 10%. Which... Compared to Miku, who can pretty much fully heal the party when she gets her awakening off, is worse in a sense. But if Nia can always like max max out at the ten percent per character, and like you you heal the ten percent, then you, you switch her out, and then she then put her back in for another ten percent, then I think she would be better than Miku for just the on-demand heal. Because ever since uh, Yuzuru's uh, skill no longer affects the whole party, that lets you fill Awakening by just using uh, using skills on like anyone, it has made it very hard for me to use Miku. So, yeah, Nia is probably going to be my go-to healer. Okay, her three skills? Alright, so stat analysis. Uh, flip through Razael to analyze all enemies on the battlefield. Inflict light damage equal to 250% attack and analyze on enemies on hit. Causes them to take 10% pure damage each time they are hit within the next 5 seconds. So pure damage is damage without taking account defense. So that could be pretty big if you can... If the analyze debuff is a debuff... And you can switch out to like a stronger character, then that 10% is just 10% like good times. Uh, Sacred Confines. Nia quickly draws on Razael to inflict total light damage equal to 270% attack to enemies within range in front of her. Each attack, each, each successful hit confines the target for 0.5 seconds confined, makes target unable to walk or move. So, 
Hmm. It's kind of like Miku's second skill where she attacks in front of her, but she all, but Nia doesn't move at least. Hmm. If confined works on bosses, then that that would be pretty good. Especially with a lot of the bosses being like very mobile now. Uh Bal Astaroth someone else Uh, poison ready. Nia instantly spends a ton of spirit power to enhances her enhance her base, next base attack within five seconds. Enhancement ends after next base attack. Enhanced base attack deals total light damage equal to four hundred and sixty percent attack. This damage is considered base attack damage. Hmm. So that's pretty much just like a one time buff. So the skill combo is analysis into poison ready. Into confine, into poison ready. Uh, okay. <laughs> into sacred punishment, which is her awakening skill, I guess. Nia, no, no, sacred punishment is her basic attack. Nia continuously re releases spirit power to attack the nearest enemy in front, inflicting total light damage equal to one hundred sixty-five percent attack. And then goes back into stat analysis. Okay, and then her Sephira is the sister set. This piece provides Nia attack and light damage bonuses. Set effect enhanced Nia's pro uh, enhanced Nia provides extra damage to teammates while not deployed. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. So, until her stats give her mainly attack or mainly HP, then plus two hundred ninety five attack and one hundred seventy five defense, plus twenty five percent attack, plus fifteen percent light damage. And plus an additional 25% attack? Really? She's doubling on attack? That's usually like... One of them is usually like defense. 16, 16... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they are... They are both attack. Huh. Cool, I guess. Uh, When dealing damage to an enemy, give self... Attack plus 32% for 10 seconds. If not deployed, all teammates gain all damage plus 32% for 10 seconds upon dealing damage. Cool. And looks like there's no cooldown for this. So every attack will give you a boost of 32% until that runs out. That's pretty huge. And then her suggested gem set is the Cancer set. Which is just a set that boosts attack based on current energy. For every 10 energy points, gain attack plus 5%. Up to 3%. Not bad. I don't know if I have a cancer set, but no. Nah. Well, let's get rolling. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Damn it. I've been saying for Nia for so long. I really hope I don't have to spend money for this. Uh, ugh. I hate when you get four star, four star Sephira. Uh, has a chance to increase. Nah, eh, that's not even a good one. Oh my God, it's the same one. Okay. Uh, right. There, it, the, you get free Nia badge, so might as well grab that before you do anything. Yoshino. Okay. So are we at four. Come on. Come on. Five. Six. Oh, Yoshino. Oh. 
Okay, Katori. Not. So that's seven. So she's the off one. So that means the next five star will be Nia. Should be guaranteed. But it does reset the roll counter. So eight. Nine. Ten. What? Oh, wait, no, Mika's a four star. So regarding ten rolls. And I need her to get her six more times. Ugh, this game. Uh, in the old days, this would have been free. Okay, so now let's look at our crystals before I go any further for rolls. I really wish I knew where my counter was. Okay, so first crystal is spirit power plus one second per second. Uh, margin OB. Okay. After Nia exits the battle, instantly cast stat analysis every six seconds afterwards. I'll consume 35 spirit power to cast stats analysis. Okay. When Nia exits battle, all allies heal HP equal to 30% of Nia's attack every five seconds. Healing cannot exceed 10% of allies' max HP. Hmm. Okay, so you need so you need her at three stars before you can even get the heal that she's based around. Ah, that's rough. Every time stat stat analysis hits a target, gain intel times one. After three intel, all allies gain twenty percent damage for ten seconds. Intel points begin what the that word. Intel points uh begin accumulating again after effect ends. Okay. Enhanced base attack for that that deals pure damage equal to 35% of Nia's HP. Oh, okay, so HP actually gives her more damage than attack would. That's interesting. When Nia's in team, other light characters other light uh, other characters light attack gains extra attack equal to 15% of Nia's attack. Oh, okay, so she wants attack and HP? That's kind of splitting what she's meant for. Oh, although this is technically only for light characters, so she, she doesn't need to get to six stars. You can technically get away. You, if you want it for her for a healer, you only need to get her three, which is better. I'm not sure how much this is going to affect anything. Clue collection. Uh, This only affects her, so five... Her fifth star doesn't really do much for the team, I feel. Ooh. So, baseline, she definitely wants to be a three star. Or get her three crystal, her third crystal activated. So you need to roll over four times. Six is nice, I guess, but the amount of light attackers currently are queen. Origami, who hasn't been fully implemented yet. And other characters aren't guaranteed to be light currently. Because they're kind of like switching around what elements certain characters are. Just due to the fact that light was kind of like heavily invested, I guess. Okay. So what are we at? 10? So 11? Now four star. Twelve. Uh, Thirteen. At the very least, it flashes the purple, so we know to be disappointed. Fourteen. Fifteen. Oh, 
please be Nia. Oh, thank God. Oh, okay. All right, that's one star. Is this 16? Whoa, triple Yoshino. That's, uh... Well, that's a party bus. No, that's the FBI van. That's what's going on. Uh, 17? Man, I lose count so easily. Eighteen. Nineteen. Uh, Twenty. What the heck was that? Twenty-one. Okay. Miku. Katori. Well, I... Or master, I guess. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Wait, does this don't count? Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Ooh, man, more. Almost already out, and I only got her one. So, yeah, that's Nia. Twenty-six. I need, I need one more time, at least. Oh! Please don't be Katori. Kurumi! Well, I... Well, I walked in that one. I uh, completely lost count. Well, if anyone actually wants. So, next five star is guaranteed to be Nia. I think I have enough for the third one. So, I already lost count, so I can't even count anymore. And you need a minimum of seven rolls for like a guaranteed five star, I believe. And looks like we're hitting that. Okay. Okay. So we got her at least at three stars, which is what I wanted. Because I need a healer. I do want to max her out because she's one of my she's my favorite character. She's one of my favorite characters. But let's roll for a Sephira first and see how that, well that goes. Eh, well. Nope. That's two, three, four. Up, oh, we got the five star. So up, oh. and Nia too. Cool. So we're at four. So that resets the count. Uh, we don't have enough for another seven. I don't think. Let's see. If we get lucky. So one. Oh. Yoshino. Nice. That's five. Oh god, that's so lucky. So great. She has, she's at five stars now. Uh wait, is she at five? Or am I being? Yeah, she's at five. Alright, 
So I just need to roll her one more time. But do I even have? I have enough for like two rolls. Although I do have much of like saved up here. Oh, oh, cool. The matter isn't that collect all is very odd. No, 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 no. Okay. Well, that's going away. Uh, yeah, I don't know if it's crashing because it's LD player or crashing because it's DLI Spirit Pledge. Hopefully, I didn't dox myself. Derp, 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 derp. Gotta check this recording there. All right, so we need 18 times 21. All right. All right, back online. Back online. Man, how, how delayed the stream? Okay, let's see if I have enough saved up for a pit a pity Nia. Is it me clicking too much? Is that what's going on? Can the game not handle all the clicks? It's a real possibility. Oh, I didn't realize you can get the four star Safari here. I don't think it's enough to get the unlock. Uh, seven, seven. I need to look into this. I don't think you can get to like six stars. It's uh, C six, I guess. I don't know. The nomenclature is difficult for me. I'm used to, like, ranking up and not, like, unlocking stars or unlocking crystals. Okay. Okay, we're at 6k so far. So all it took for me to get a 5-star Nia was saving across two iterations of this game. That... that's rough. Like, uh, I really miss the old version of this game. They had like... three quests you could farm for crystals for like the common, the story girls. And Nia was like pretty much guaranteed to be that. But then they made it like this. Copying the Genshin system, apparently. Which. Which is rough. And, like. The fact that Nia's usability as a healer is locked behind her crystal. Which now makes me wonder. Now that I've discovered that you can get crystals from the. Uh, completion pool. Makes me wonder if. I could have just done that. Unfortunately, I didn't finish Isuka Disaster, so I wouldn't know. I should probably do that. Hmm. This might be a situation where I just wasted my gem for no reason. 
Uh, well, who cares? I pretty much have, like, all the meta characters anyways I need. And it seems like characters are pretty balanced. Roughly, I guess. Five, five. Okay, yeah, this is only in, uh, Kaguya. Man, I forgot how long these, like, story sections were. I don't know why I clicked that one. Alright, let's try for the last one. I don't remember what number we're left on. We're still hidden purple. Wait, did... So would that be two? Three. Ah, bring out. Two and get there. Looks like we're draining drain the pot. I mean, the bright side, they also gives fate badges, so I can, you know, use it for her, Safira. Hmm. Yeah, they're in the collect all, which is kind of weird. Or even, like, a really easy way to access this. So this gives one crystal. Or an unlock, at least. Hmm. Okay, yeah, and this one doesn't give anything, because Tenka was, a. Uh, Gotcha, only character. Like, I'm fine with the inverse characters not being farmable. Even though, like, you know, others would disagree. Okay, uh, then Natsumi, which I, yeah, she's not farmable either. Which I can't remember if she was in the original version. I don't think she was in, like, the, or, like, Taiwan version I played originally. Man, I missed that version. I had so many, so many spirits on that one. <laughs> and then I lost it all because they wouldn't let me... Link the account because I didn't have a Taiwanese phone number. Okay, so we have, I think we have enough for the. Seventh roll. But we won't have enough for a hundred and fortieth roll. So pretty much banking it all on the uh 
on the guaranteed five star of the seventh roll. And if it's not Nia, I'm boned. <sighs> Back in the day, I would just need to roll a hundred times to get guaranteed character. And it wouldn't be affected by the roll results. Ah. I know this being like a light novel series that's linked to the anime for like voice clips makes it like limiting for what it can do. But still, the changes they made, they made, they, it was such a like decent game before for like free free to play because you could farm for characters so all you're wasting is your time instead of the money and am oh i collect everything but now now you gotta spend money to even like get decent because yeah, before you just like from a from up a Kurumi, wait for like Christmas to get like the Christmas sets, farm up like Yoshino or the like, Yuzuru or Miku, and then you got like a solid team there for like most of PVE content. But now, now you don't get anything. You got what like a two star Miku from like. Doing story mode. And that's... That's not fun. Like, I'm, I'm thankful I, I farmed, like, so many characters before the game shut down. Or switched over. Ooh, there we go, sir. Right, because they never finished uh, Isuka Disaster. Which I might do this stream just because I need something to do. Nope, still four star. So this one? Yep, yeah, okay. Yeah! Last one! <laughs> Locked out! Woo! 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 <coughs> Ow. Yeah! It cost me what? Like, 90,000 diamonds to get her to... F Six star or six crystal, I don't know. C six. Although I really wonder why it's just for light characters when Nia is canonically like a reality mini player. Ooh, and I have five hundred and ten uh bait badges now. Let's Revelation, good. Ooh, a double. Okay, I think I was gonna get triple there. Still need roll roll for two copies of these things, so. Which I guess is not as bad as before. Before I wouldn't even like bother ranking. Oh, cool, we're done. So at least I have one base set. That's good. That was only like f six rolls, so that's not too bad. Although it's still like purely luck. Whoa, double four star. Ah, really? An off five? And it's the purest damage one? That ain't good. Then Amiku? I mean, the bright side is you still get spirits from, like, rolling the Sephira. 
So the four stars are eventually going to get maxed out. All right. So I got... And one Toka. Okay. So I need... I don't remember what the other called, but I know I need the other two. <laughs> Alright, we used 110 so far. Come on, come on, come on. Don't be a dupe. Okay. Did not expect. Uh, Kaguya? I do need Kaguya. I, like, I do need, like, the other five star sets, so it's not too, too bad. But I think that messes up the guaranteed roll. Like, how the hell does it work again? Okay. So, when you get a 5-star common Safari, you also get a Feather of Time. Feather of Time. 2 Feather of Time. I don't know why. Uh, when you get a 5-star Set Safari, you gain Feather of Time times 10. When you get a 4-star Spirit, you get Feather Time times 2. When you get 4 star Set Safari, you get Feather Time times 1. Uh, okay, so there's no guaranteed for this one. Oh, wait, no. That's up. It's at the top. Okay, 100% you get 5 star Set Safari after 30 draws. If you fail to draw 1 up uh, 5 star Set Safari, next 5 star will be guaranteed to be a current up Safari. So, what's the current? Uh. Okay, so only Nia is on rank up. So. Wait. What's the one after. Was the five star after Nia? Kaguya? Okay, if it was Kaguya, then that means it's fine. That means system's working. That means the next one is going to be uh, Nia. So this should be a Nia. Okay. Alright. Man, getting a double Nia was actually really good. Okay, we're missing the one who, with her arm stretched out, which I don't know what's called, I think. I think we're missing that one. It doesn't tell me how many I have. Ugh. <sighs> Okay. Oh, Nash. Okay, so next one. It's gonna be a Nia. Now will it be the one we need. Okay. This one's a guaranteed five. Awesome! Praise! And Origami. Two of the best girls. And how much did I, did I use? It's like 210? So what's the grand total for like all these rolls? Like 90,000 diamonds? Plus the 20 I had saved up already? And then like the 200 uh, fate badges? Because I, I was not keeping track. I don't, even know, I don't even think I have like, enough to like max her out. Quick Foster. Uh, is he gonna use like all my money? Yeah, money in this game has become like weirdly difficult to obtain because you go and get them from you pretty much go and get money from uh, the daily quest, which has which changes uh. What bonuses are? Wait, how many do I these? I have three point five million. That's fine. <laughs> I'm not exchanging for any of these four stars. I already got one, dude. Uh, only gets you two hundred, three hundred k per. Why is it so difficult to level up? Well, that's not helpful.
I'm gonna have to like rewatch this stream just to, like record down like how much it cost me. And then make another Reddit post about uh how much I spent. Which was zero this time, technically, so yay for me. But yeah, maxing out a character required me to save up enough diamonds from a previous aeration, pick up all the diamonds I got from the refresh story mode. So yeah, that's a uh, that's kind of a big ask for anyone playing this game. Okay, I'm at 6 mil. That should be a decent amount? I hope. Okay, yeah. So it's going to cost 2 mil. And all these. And I don't think I have enough experience, honestly, to mess her out. Wait, why does he need 1,500? Wait, do I have 2,000? Low 60. Or low 50. God damn it. Oh, thank God. Okay. Equip net. Equipped net. Control duration plus 15%. That's pretty neat. And equip this one. And now let's lock them so I don't delete them by accident, because apparently these don't come locked in a very weird way. Boop. And boop. And now let's enhance. Uh, ooh, I don't think I have enough. Then star up. Yeah, the star up's where, like, all the money goes. It's like six mil per... I think. Where's the two mil? Like, at the last step, it cost, like, two million. So it's, it's rough. So it's 500k for this one. No, oh, it's only 75. Okay, that's not too bad. So, like, in total, like, a mil, I think. Oh, no, nope, 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 not that. And then use this doop. And that's maxed out. On with the next one. Man, that one, that's a fair use to be good. Actually, I think it's still it's pretty decent. I think you, I think it's still skill damage, which is uh, decent for a lot of characters. Don't let me like check what the stats are though. Uh, Nia thighs. Best girl has best thighs, and that's the. Religion I. I don't know where I was going with that. Anyways. So yeah. After I get this done, we'll test her out. See how she does in tower. Because that's where all the effort goes in this, in this game. Climbing the endless corridor. Or endless tower? I don't know what it's called. Although, I don't know why there's not, like, an easy way to, like, start us up. Ooh, and then 200k. Running out of money. Alright. Uh, data conversion. It's a little annoying that you can't exchange, like, old resources for, like, experience cards. Hmm. 
Because, yeah, this all exchanges for, like, upgrades. They need to, like, upgrade stats. But you don't... You can't get experience cards from them. And that's, like, the only thing that wouldn't, like, transfer over. Okay, we're at 1.6. I feel comfortable if I was at, like, 3 mil. I just wish it wouldn't, like, scroll back up after time. Okay, that should be fine. Alright, this should then we should be able to max out the last Sephira. Oh, right, I need to give her, like, the gems. Uh, this one. Star up. And enhance. And final star up. All right. So, it was recommended for the Cancer set. Oh, you know, I actually haven't checked out her skills, like, in depth. So, Sacred Punishment is her basic attack, and her modifiers are... Increased hit rate plus 8%. Four Strike Unlocked causes two Spirit Power Blasts. <laughs> Ow. Uh, causes two spirit power blasts surrounding the nearest enemy. The skill inflicts total light damage equal to 245%. So I don't know if the, it's the spirit blast that does the 245% or is it changing the basic attack modifier. So I never really figured that out. Uh, each hit increases Nia movement speed by 2% for 8 seconds, stacking up to 5 times. So 10% movement speed increase, that's nice. Sacred Punishment, 5th Strike Unlocked, causes a powerful spirit power blast surrounding the nearest enemy. This skill inflicts total light damage equal to 345% attack. Uh, each hit increases the damage of the skill by 3% for 8 seconds, stacks up to 5 times, so for every hit, uh, she'll gain, she can gain a potential of 15% attack. Uh, sacred Punishment Enhance. Uh, each hit has a 10% chance to trigger an extra 5th strike. Okay, that's different. And the last one is just damage plus 10%. Alright, so stat analysis. Flips through Raziel, analyzes targets. Yep, yep, we read that already. And then skill cooldown minus 2%. Nice. Or 2 seconds. Uh, stat analysis enhanced. The skill inflicts light damage equal to 400% attack, and the an analyze effect is enhanced to cause one of the following debuffs. Ooh. At random, though. So, move speed minus 15% for 5 seconds, defense minus 15% for 5 seconds, and light resist minus 15% for 5 seconds. Hmm. So, they can stack... But the only real relevant one is the 15% defense. Because, well, light resists as well if you're, like, part of a queen or something. Okay, then hit rate plus 8%. Uh, stat analysis. Second strike unlocked. Oh. Tap the skill again after 7 seconds to display the intel gathered on the target in front. The skill inflicts light damage, total light damage equal to 600% attack. Oh, cool. And then second strike deals 50% damage to enemies with under 70% HP. Mm, that's actually pretty easy to trigger. That's nice. And then stat analysis enhanced. The skill inflicts light damage equal to 800% attack. And the second strike can hit ally characters. What? Will not cause damage. Reducing their damage mitigation by 10%. But granting them 15% damage bonus for 5 seconds. So... Your allies would take 10% more damage, but they'll deal 15% more. That's pretty risky, but the 15% can actually, like, close out fights pretty fast. 
And then stat analysis analyze duration plus 3 seconds. This does not increase the duration of the random debuffs. Oh. Well. Fine. So, and then sacred confines. That's the skill lock one. So, minus 2 second cooldown. Uh, long press unlocked. Ah, uh, she's a long press character. I hate doing those. Okay. Continue tapping the skill button to increase duration by one second. Make a large spear power blast when the skill is complete. The skill inflicts total light damage equal to 380% attack. And then increase hit rate by 8%. Keep tapping the skill button to increase duration by two seconds. Oh. She's a... What? She wants a long press and a, a tap as well? Uh, increase damage by to 680% attack. And each time Sacred Confines deal damage, reduce targets again? Seriously? Uh, okay, yeah, I think it's... I think it's a... Uh, I think it's the Spirit Pledge thing and not the LD player. Uh, so... So far, she seems interesting enough. She's very involved. She's almost like a combo character. Alright, and back in we go. Alright, let's get back into Nia's analysis. Okay, we're last at the tapping effect. Yeah. Okay, and then each time Sigurd confines deal damage, reduce target's damage mitigation by 2% for 12 seconds, stacks up to 5 times. So, basically, uh, 10% damage buff. Uh, increased range by 10%. And when Sigurd confines magic circles ends, target gains minus 15% 50, 50 hit rate for 8 seconds. I don't know how relevant dodge is in this game. Like, uh, Shinka Toka has like a dodge bonus when she uses her dash skill. And it does trigger, but uh, it's not really super re relevant. Alright, so Poison Ray, cooldown minus 2 seconds. Enhanced, after casting, reduce one sec skill 1 cooldown by 2 seconds and skill... To cool down by three seconds. Holy crap. Oh, right, because this is at the trigger. Okay, that's, that changes a lot of things. Uh, spirit cost minus five. Okay, so this costs spirit. I don't know how much it costs, though. How much is it? It doesn't say. It just says spends a ton of spirit power. So I assume you can't use that as zero. And it's more than five originally. I have no idea. After casting, Nia gains 30% damage mitigation for 8 seconds. Not bad. After casting, uh, Sacred Confines is enhanced for f next 5 seconds. When the skill is cast, has up to 4 chances to deal extra damage, which is counted as Sacred Confines damage, and 50% uh, 50, 50, 50 chance to each time to randomly cause one of the following. Huge machinery wreckage falls from the, the sky, dealing light damage equal to 100% of attack, stunning targets for one second within each hit. Enemies are whipped up in a tornado that deals total light damage equal to 150% attack and reduces target movement speed by 20% for 5 seconds, generates multiple random lightning strikes that inflicts total light damage equal to 150% attack and reduces target's attack bonuses by 15% for 5 seconds. Okay. And when Poisoned Rage is cast with 100% spirit power, Nia gains 20% all damage bonus for 8 seconds. Okay, so it just takes up the whole bar, I think. Except with the reduction, it now takes up the whole bar, minus 5. Yay? I guess? I don't know. 
That was kind of hard to read. Okay, that's defense. That's attack. Ooh, attack plus speed and crit rate. That's actually pretty good. I'm going to lock this one. So, I guess I'll equip this one. You see, once attack and HP at the same time... Ah, uh, these are so bad. Uh, crit damage bonus plus movement speed bonus plus ten pin death. Uh, just use this one temporarily. Hit rate and defense bonus. Ugh. Oh, and all independent attack stats too. Those are awful. Uh, this one has at least had attack bonus. So I guess we run this. So I get like good ones. Crit rate, defense rate, HP bonus, pierce rate, attack bonus. Uh, I guess I'll run this. All right, so what we got here? We have a uh, 9K Nia. Let's go do the thingamabob. Daily. We need experience. All right. So let's check out how she is. Well, she's a support character. I shouldn't do that. This is really like not indicative of like how she's gonna play. All right. Oh, wow, that's huge. Okay, so it costs 35. Okay, I think I, I understand things. Oh, right, I turned off the animations. I should do something about her attack speed. It's actually, like, super slow. Okay, so that gives her base attack charge, and then... Hmm. I don't know why I did. I also don't know how many, like, cards I need for her to, like, max out. Because we just got 10. Well, 10 gives her one level. So I think we need uh, like at least 100. What's the time pact? Eh. Uh, nah. All right. I need to keep doing this because I need the freaking levels for her. But she is strong enough to actually like clear out the stage by herself. So. I'm going to turn back on her Awakening. Just so we can check out like what the animation is. Uh, da, 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 da. Fight? Activate. Save. Continue. Okay, I'm going 
I'm trying to figure out like where I can cancel moves. Okay, here she recovers her at speed like pretty fast. Oh, because every year her, her basic attack. Right, I forgot about that. But her basic attack range is like super short. Okay. So it's, it's kind of combo y. Uh, who is on the boss rush time? Or who's the daily boss? Ah, god damn it. It's her. God, I cannot remember what the name is. Uh, she's with the fire, too. So, it's not even, like, relevant to what I'm trying to do. I, I just want to level Nia up to, like, 60. So I can, you know, use her and like, other things. But her, her playstyle is pretty interesting. So, you start off and, like, just do a charge. Which apparently stays, which does damage. So I think you can cancel out of uh, Analyze pretty fast, which is pretty good. And you don't need to do the hold. It's also pretty easy to keep her uh, spirit energy up. Although, I don't know like how easy it's going to be like during a boss fight, because it's how that fight generally goes. Yay, 52. Uh, doesn't take a while. Ooh, someone's doing a thing. Ah, Sag. Well, let's try a roll trial. Kurumi's up, so... Nia has bonus damage against that. Although, technically, Rumi has bonus damage against Nia. Ah, oh, man. Couldn't get close enough. And I'm locked in. Yeah, she's bad against fast characters. Her animations have locks in.
God damn. Yeah, switching. Switching is kind of key playing Neo. But a lot of her attacks don't like really have impact. Okay, that took longer than it usually does for me. Just due to the fact that uh, getting used to how Neo plays. I do have to clamp the tower. Hmm. Supply. Alright. Oh yeah, we also got rebate stuff because of uh getting Nia and upgrading Nia. Oh! How nice. Although I think there's only for the four star stuff. Which is Kind of annoying. Oh, you get 15 experience cards. That's good. More experience cards for us. How many did we actually roll? Is it over 400? Yes, it is. Yeah, I kind of expected that. Although, I really, I really wish they would, you know, Telling me how my how many I rolled in the end. But you know, it is what it is. They don't want you regretting what you rolled, basically. Very sneaky. Ah, oh, god damn it. Keep missing out on teams. Oh, I should level up Nia. For those extra 15 cards. Seven more levels. Although, do I have Pisces gems? I feel like I have Pisces gems being used by someone. Or not Pisces, uh, Cancer Gems. Pretty sure some... Oh, right. Toka needed them. Wait. Why are both of them... Why are both of them equipped to Toka? Hmm. Hmm. Technically, that one's better. I still don't know, like, what I really want to build her as. Because this requires her HP to be high to get that extra 35% damage. Everything else requires her attack. Because her heals linked to her attack. Her bonus attacks is linked to her attack. And I also want her to be you know, able to survive hits. So I kind of want to give her HP, but I feel like mixing stats is going to, like, screw up a lot of things. Wait, how do you have the 120%? I haven't even maxed out yet. So she has 2k HP. Or 2k attack. How much does my token have? 300. How does my Sinka Toka have? Which is apparently my strongest character. 3k. And Rain is... Also 3k. With 16k HP. Holy crap. 15k HP. Katori has 40, 40k HP because of how uh, how she works. 
Oh yeah, I got her maxed out during those rolls. So yeah, that's the thing now. Yeah, because Katori wants all HP. No attack, only HP. It's pretty nutty. Then Vanguard Mana has 10k. Man, there's such a like huge difference between HP and attack at the, the top end. Yeah, even my like decently built Yuzuru only has 10k HP. God damn. Anyone? I'm glad that the, like, uh, co-op doesn't require, like, gems anymore. Like, that's a good change. Okay, let's wait up for looking for group. Technically, with only uh, less than 10k battle points, it should be fine because I'm a healer. Also, most of my good attacks are pretty long range anyways. Why is that clock not moving up? Am I not online? Am I not online? Have I been? Oh, well, I've always been talking to myself. God, the guy's at two C's and already at 10k. Marvin. Hello, Marvin. Hopefully we get Katori to join us, because... Well, Katori just does, like, nutty damage. Especially on weakness. It's not even a competition. I found it very hard to play as a new Kurumi. But at the same time, I've seen people play as her, and they wreck shop. At like, same bow points as this guy, uh, at uh, 11k. So, I think it's really just depending on like, how well you know how to use the character. So, I want to do like, one more system invite. Looks like no one's joining. Alright, let's start. Hopefully with a healer and a Kurumi, this is gonna be fine. Ah, control immunity. I really cannot tell, like, what's going on. <laughs> Like, am I healing? I don't know if I'm healing. Oh, I am healing. I don't know when that's triggering. Okay, so that's Nia's skill when the orb appears on top of her.
Hmm. We still got 36, uh, 36% uh, uh, but with, with, uh, contribution, so not too shabby. Oh, it is Cancer Day, so. Is anyone else online? Ooh, someone is. Awesome. Two healers. So I like how Nia is. It's just a little difficult to tell like when her uh, first skill triggers. I also don't know, like, how relevant it is to, like, uh, trigger her, or, like, long, long hold her second skill. Hey, Waff. I got down with the sickness, so that's why I'm having a weird stream. <laughs> I, I'm streaming at a weird time, because I can't go to work. But I am on, like, the up and up. But I am, like, coughing and, like, don't have, I'm still feverish. Luckily, the symptoms are mild. Man, I cannot tell what the hell's going on. Yeah, hopefully I'll be better before the end of the week. But yeah, I am, like, super fatigued. <laughs> but other than that, I got a, my one of my favorite characters from this series by not spending money. As opposed to spending $700 on a character that I didn't really care about. Because I wanted to test something out. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, my whole my whole household got sick got down to sickness. Thankfully we're all mild cases, but yeah. I have never been more thankful that I own like my own electric pressure cooker. Because it is so easy just to like throw a bunch of ingredients into a pot and leave it to cook by itself and have like a relatively healthy soup. It's great. If you don't own one, you should buy one. <sighs> oh, I'm getting woozy. <laughs> but yeah, I just been like. Apparently streaming for a last hour just playing this. Oh yeah, air fryers also a very good thing to buy. Like the ability to lightly fry something just by like coating it in oil and get like a nice crust. It's very nice for the flavor. Although I'm not sure if like it cooks anything faster, but it does, 
at the very least, like, makes things texturally very nice. Uh, all right. So I'm still trying to figure out, like, how to play as this character, because her skills are kind of weird for me. It doesn't have, like, a lot of impact, so I have a hard time telling, like, what's going on. Like, her first skill is, like, a, a debuff, and then goes into, like, an attacking skill. But the debuff has, like, a kind of a long animation, and I'm not too sure if I can cancel out of it still. But on the bright side, her third skill has a like a cooldown reduction, and there it goes it crashes the game. Yeah, I've been using like a LD player because blue stacks keeps messing up with controls. But the downside is that I think the game keeps crashing because I couldn't find the game on the Google Play Store while using this emulator. So I think it's not entirely compatible. And I'm not sure how to fix that. So I have to close it off every time because it shows my email address. When I reload it in. And it's really annoying. Because the opening screen is actually pretty good. Yeah. Alright. Back in. Is anyone online? Cool. Oh. Are they gonna switch? Okay, they're gonna. Alright, I'm Nia. <laughs> so, well, play as Nia. For anyone who. I drink game coffee. Ugh. So play as Nia, her skills are long range, basically. So she's a lot safer to play as than Miku is. Man, we were doing like no damage. Oh, because we switched out, that's why. So, I don't know how Nia's second skill works, because it has a hold for when you want to, like, keep casting it, but also has, like, a tap ability, apparently, where it'll sustain. But I don't see any, anything noticeable during that tap. Because apparently I'm doing damage, because I'm at 300k contribution. Because <laughs> I did like 20% damage during that fight. I just don't understand when the damage is happening. <laughs> Alright, so that's my three dailies for that. Uh, my arms with a wibbly. Okay, let's test that. So, the first hold is a sustain. And then the tap does nothing. So... 
So if I use her third skill... That didn't do anything. Hmm. Okay, so third skill again. Holding that one. Okay, yeah, I still don't know what the hell's going on here. Because tapping for the second version doesn't do anything. Yeah, for HD subtitle, it's not really that HD anymore. Okay, and that's the beam. Okay, so if I activate it, then cancel out. Her attack still activates. Okay, so the first phase of that is cancelable. The second phase, not so much. Okay, let's try this again. Can I see debuffs? No, they keep dying right away, so let's change that. Uh, maybe I put a, a boss and you see debuffs? Okay, yeah. Okay, so when when the big orb happens, then the debuffs happen. I think. Okay, the big orb is what triggers the analysis. So not her animation. So you can cancel out her animation. That's pretty good. Hmm. So I guess the strat is to do the analysis, cancel out of it, go into skill 2, go into skill 1, finish off of skill... no, skill 3, skill, go back to skill 1. I think? She also just, like, passively heals. I'm not really sure what's triggering that one. Hmm. Okay, so her defense down bonus is different from the defense down from skill 2. I don't know where I'm going with this. But I have just talked myself into losing this. At the very least, she seems better than uh, Miku as a support. In my playstyle of, like, attack, attack, attack. Because I find Miku very hard to use because a lot of her skills... Well, her main uh, appeal to me is her heal on her Awakening. But her Awakening doesn't trigger unless, you know, you hit with her. And since, like, two of her skills are basically close range, it's kind of hard to use. Uh, man, I really gotta, like, max her out still. Still missing seven levels. But I feel like I've pretty much demonstrated what Nia can do in, like, an overall thing. Like, all of her attacks are, like, basically long range. She can... She can passively heal herself, so she has more survivability than most other spirits. Uh, yeah, her her heal isn't coming from her Sephira. I don't know what's triggering her heal. I guess it's from her crystal? That triggers on exit. Uh, yeah, I have no idea what's triggering her heal. But, she can heal. That's all I really care about, I guess. Let's try a couple of, uh, tarot levels, because I'm gonna get a better idea of like, how the heal works that way.
Oh, so there was a post on Reddit complaining about how combo characters are being nerfed. Which they are, because they bypass uh, defend, uh, cooldown. <laughs> but also that uh, Cinco Toka was nerfed being weaker. And I don't think that's true. She's actually very strong. She's like my strongest character. <laughs> it's just that her playstyle is completely different now. Because now you have to wait for cooldown. And I guess technically it's a little more brainless. Whoops. It's a little more brainless just because, uh... Because you don't need to remember, like, what the combos are anymore. Cancel out of that. Go to skill 2. Go to skill 1. Go to skill 2. Go back to Yuzuru. Use the Awakening skill. Go back to... Toka? Okay, yeah. Toka healed, I think? So that worked. God, these things are so annoying because their defenses are insanely large. I'm healing! Oh no, they're healing. The enemy's healing, that's what's going on. I am at max HP, so things are working. Okay, and then switch back to Toka. No, switch back to Yuzuru so I can waken. Then switch back to Toka for max damage. It's hard for me to tell, like, what gets nerfed in this game because of how many characters I have maxed out already. <laughs> because before the game changed, I already had, uh... A lot of the story characters maxed out star wise. Because you could grind them out. And I had like two years to do that. So maybe she did get weaker in a sense that if she's not at max star rank, she's weaker. <laughs> But from what I saw from her, like, uh, skill damage, she has 800% on, like, two of her skills. And I think like, that's, like, some of the highest of, like, all the characters. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of spazzing out because I'm very bad at uh, hand-eye coordination, which is why I don't play fighting games. I switch. That's the wrong button. Oh, well, we're healing, so something's going right. Oh, control's messing up. Oh, no. It's not messing up. That's the lock thing. And I'm facing the wrong way. Of course I was. Oh, bad. That's bad. I wish the camera was zoomed out a little more. You know? Because as it stands, the debuffs are kind of blocking a core of my screen.
But oh yeah, I I am digging Nia way more than I like playing as Miku. She heals so much more consistently. Why isn't the camera like zooming out? I that's why I really don't understand right now. Cancel all that. Okay, that's bad. And that's a bunch of explosions I just walked right into. Okay. Switch back to Toka. Oh, uh, Toka's... Actually, I have to double-check this, but before... Uh, Toka's first skill was actually glitch. That wasn't counting as a skill. So you could, uh... Basically use it multiple times. For those quests where you have to use... X amount of skills. So I'm going to double check that before I finish off at least. Oh man, I, I love being able to heal. It's so nice. Not relying on Miku's uh, awakening skill to heal. So yeah. It sucks that her heel is locked behind her third uh, crystal. But maybe you can get that via story mode. If they're, you know, giving out crystals and the rewards. I don't know, though, because she's also like a five star, technically. And I don't think they give out five stars. Also, this game's a lot easier to play on controller, in my opinion. <laughs> Might be because I'm just, like, used to, like, comboing. In that sense. Or maybe because I'm not playing on, like, a tiny screen. You know, that's also possible. That's the wrong way. What floor am I on? Am I 45? Or not A5, I mean. Oh, the Liberator. Will I finally be able to be 100? Probably not. Because 100 is almost guaranteed to be impossible for me. That's poison. We're making good time. It usually takes me at least, like, two and a half minutes for this stage. Okay, so Nia's at full health. So she healed. So I need Nia on field for ten seconds, I think. Oh, okay. This is going to be a tough one. This is Aldermech. I know Aldermech as the gay horse. From SMT, if you know that one. Switch out to Nia. Get analysis on. Okay, she's down 16 already. That's pretty good. Okay, I'll go, go. Come on. Walk closer. Bad. 
That's bad. See, I like that Toka can like pick basically triple dodge. Okay, we're down to 11 already. We still have a minute and a half. This team's working way better. I don't know if Nia's strong or I'm just... Okay, Nia needs to heal. Ow. Ow. Okay. Damn it. Okay, down seven. That's good. Go back to Toka. And Toka gets stabbed in the back. Great. Get the analyze on. I don't know if that's actually hitting her. Oh, okay, that's bad. That was a bad one. And there's the invincibility, so let's get out of there. Ah, oh, damn, around time. Okay, so I need Nia a little more powerful before I can do that one. Although we were keeping our HP pretty high, so that's pretty, which, that pretty much was what I wanted. She is weak to win, so I do have the right team. But yeah, I think Nia needs a little more damage to keep the race up. So yeah, she definitely is replacing Miku for me entirely. But, uh, other than that, I pretty much covered everything that involves Nia. Like, she's a better healer, in my opinion. Uh, she has decent attack, and she has decent range, too. Oh, gotta get friendship. So, other than that, don't know what else to cover today. I mean, the HP recovery is low... Odd, considering the fact that the third skill, or the third crystal, says that it's when she exits the battle, all allies are he healed. But there are times where I was being healed without exiting. Like, I don't know what's keeping her alive. Or maybe I was... Maybe that affects, like, the entire team... Including herself, so when I switch back to her, she'd still be under effect. But yeah, other than that, Nia's a good character. Does she need her Sephira? Uh, probably. Actually, she probably doesn't. Actually, if you if you if you're using her for like a heal character, she probably doesn't need this. Man, this is with the 32% attack bonus. And we were, we were just like edged out a little bit for damage. So yeah, she needs a little bit more. But if you don't have that, I feel like... Uh... You could use the Rose set for the additional cooldown reduction, so she can spam her skills a little more. Deem King sets a good support set. Because upon hitting a target, it inflicts a random debuff to a target for 2 seconds, triggering once every once every second. Uh, actually, no, she's actually kind of bad for that. Because her attacks only hit like once, like... 
in like a big hit. Her second skill does hit multiple times, but yeah, eh, you know what? Mm. Yeah, that's a good question. Is that is she a good demon set user? The answer is probably a good maybe. But other than the Demon King set and the Rose set, Holy Vibrations good just to keep her alive. Because it restores 10% HP on hit. Triggering once every 5 seconds. And since she has the, her analysis skills basically like a super long range attack, it's super good for her. So she can keep her HP up without dying. So yeah, if you don't have her set, then yeah, the holy set's probably going to be the next bet to keep her alive. Rose set, if you want to spam her skills. And Demon King set, if you can get it, basically. Although, I low priority on Demon King set. Well, that's all my rambling for today. So I'm going to call it a day. I'm probably going to go take a nap to rest my body. So, until next time, thank you everyone who joined me today. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye!